Hey, what's going on, pros? It's Diggy Man here from the Venture Pros, and I'm here with a new mod spotlight. And we're gonna do, uh, I don't know, what the hell we're gonna do? Let's do the butterfly mod. How to install? Now, first thing I'm gonna do is grab bo any of these right here. Uh, both of them. I'm gonna have both of the links underneath. Now everybody's having a problem of picking out the right Forge version, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to find all the versions. Okay, so your install will go correctly. If one Forge doesn't work, try an older one. Okay, I'm gonna show you the main ones, and um, this is how it's gonna go. First thing you're gonna go to MinecraftForge.net, and this is how it looks right here. Okay, now you see oh. Where the hell are the versions? None, right? So you go to releases. See where it says release? You hit that. And then you go to the main forge download September 8th. Or whatever date it has here, you hit it. Okay? So you open that window up. Now, it says recommended, latest, blah, blah, blah. Skip all that. Go to right here, Jenkins build system. You hit it. And here on the side, you're going to see all the forges. You can find later ones if you want. Um, each one of these, the blue ones, are workable, working properly forges. Now, they do update all the time. As you can see right here, October 19th, October 19th, they updated three times in one day. Now, these guys are working overtime to make it smoother and better to work with mods and everything. And it runs great already. But these guys are working hard every single day. Now, the red ones, you see the red dot? They do not work. They had problems, some bugs, something. and then, But you can see the next day, they already fixed it. Or even six minutes later, they fixed it. Okay, so... They're constantly working on this. These guys work overtime, so give them their props. Okay, um, now if you pick one of these, like 318, and then it just sends... Oh, oh the website's down. Well, anyway, it should go... It should bring you straight to either the Universal or the source of the Forge. So, this is the Forge right here. Um... 317, that's the one I'm using for the Butterfly Mania mod, okay? And you just seen, right after this, I'm gonna, we're gonna have, me and Spike are gonna have a spotlight because this is SMP, so it's pretty cool. So let's get started. Um, let's run my Minecraft, so, because I haven't done shit. Um... Let's see. Put your name in here. Have a nice clean Minecraft. So. Oh, what? What the hell did I write? Hello? What? I forgot my password. Oh my god. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So Minecraft is building a new, brand new, clean file for me so I can mod it out and go crazy. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Go butterfly crazy. So that's it. It's done. So if we could close that out. Go here to start button. Go percentage. App. Data. Percentage. Go up to your roaming file here. And go find your dot minecraft file. And open your bin. Find your bin here, open it up, find your Minecraft jar, right click it and open it up with WinRAR or 7-zip, some zip file opening, and there you go. Now, what you do here is open your forge, as you can see. Now, forge, as you can see, has a meta inf in it. So you don't need this one. This one has some files in it that will corrupt your forge. So you should delete this file. So highlight it and press delete and delete that file. Now go to your forge, 
highlight all your files and bring them right in into your Minecraft jar. As you can see, it's loading up in here and say OK. There you go. Now it has a brand new Meta Inf in there. Now you close all the windows out and start Minecraft again. There we go. There goes Forge running quick and setting up all kinds of uh, files it needs and making life a lot easier. As you can see, this Forge mod loader and Minecraft Forge in there. 3.1.7. Now, let's close that out. Go to your start button, percentage app data, percentage, and go f go find your dot Minecraft again. And this time you're going to see Forge has made a couple of files in here. You're going to look for this mods folder, open it up, and grab the mod itself and just drag it right into this file and close out and start your Minecraft up. There we go. And there goes the there goes Forge starting up and it should run good, hopefully. <laughs> so embarrassing if it doesn't. There it goes. Butterfly Mania has started. That's, I don't like to do anything, so I really like to um, see if it is working. So let's just start it. It's building terrain. Okay, come on. Build the terrain. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Give it to me. Oh, what? What? What happened? Oh, 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 oh. There it goes. My Minecraft a little laggy. T well, there goes Chicken. He's on the ice. I am doing uh, other things with the computer right now. I'm running like th three other programs while I'm recording. <laughs> and they're major programs. But um, we'll let that flow. Uh, yeah. I don't see any butterflies. But let's walk around and see if Minecraft brings it into play. Well, let's look in inventory. Um, do you see any butterflies anywhere? Butterflies. Oh, there you go. Some butterfly stuff in here. Oh, magnifying glass. Scroll. What? What? The butterfly net. What well, is installed? And as I think it's running good, so stay tuned. Stay tuned for the spotlight for me, Spikey, show you guys how to work this thing. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, share this video, favorite for us, give us a like. It really helps a lot, guys. Uh, appreciate every single like. And hopefully we get back into play here. See you guys later. I'm Diggy Man from Adventure Pros, and I'm out. Hey, what's going on, pros? We are back here in the Mod Spotlight, and me and Spikey. Woo! And Woo! as you can see, we have butterflies. It's a butterfly, butterfly mania around here. I'm flying with them. Oh, uh, you're creative? Oh, I'm like creative. It's okay. So... This is the butterfly mod, and it's SMP. It's pretty cool. And what you do with this is just like go around and find butterflies. You tame them. No, it, don't tame them. You <laughs> just right click them when you make this net. And you kill them all. And you just <laughs> grab them all, like ah, right. Ah! All right, so. Yeah. You catch them out in a while, then you have them in your inventory, right, Spike? Yeah, I have. I have a bunch in my inventory. All right, so. We walk over here to the crafting table, and you have to have some paper and some ink sacks and a magnifying glass. How to make a magnifying glass is like so, just like this, okay? Just put an iron ingot and a piece of glass, and you get a magnifying, and the net is made this way, and uh, that's pretty much it. Now, if you catch them and you want to 
Okay, so you got the butterfly, and you put the piece of paper, and you put an ink sac, and a magnifying glass, and you get a scroll. Now, with the scroll, you right click it, and you open it up, like so, and so it says, you found a butterfly, species 52, it has no name yet, you still have to research it a lot. The more of the same butterfly you catch, the more information. Now you could add this to your encyclopedia by right clicking it here and then you got your green encyclopedia and you could pick out and it, f and it starts uh, like a ledger of your species that you found and more that you catch the more information you will find about them like what he drops, where he spawns, all that cool what information, eats. what he eats. Oh, let me set the time time set oh no oh what the heck what happened i crashed time set zero okay so you're daytime again so yeah now also you could do one of these put some sticks around like this and put the butterfly and if you like them so much you can make a like a picture frame and if you bring them over here you can just stick them on your wall. It's pretty cool. I like it. You can decorate your home with butterflies in different colors. Dead butterflies. What? <laughs> Dead, Dead butterflies. butterflies. Dead butterflies. We shall kill them all. So in here, you can find the rare, very common, common, uncommon, rare, epic, and extinct. Daytime activity, nighttime activity, all kinds of information. And as you go through your ledger you can find all the species that you have like this one is an ocean he spawns in the ocean sort of and this one spawns in the forest in the plains extreme hills beaches land small you know so that's I like it what do you think Spike you like I this think, mod? Uh, I think that uh, you just need to set fire to all these butterflies. It's, uh, the potential of this mod is pretty cool to add onto your world. Just to give you a little bit more activity while you're yeah. playing Minecraft. All I know is that you need to catch a buttload of them to actually get anywhere with this mod. Yeah. So uh, get well. your net, get your book, get your scrolls, and start catching. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching the install and your spotlight. Make sure you add this to your favorites. Give us a like, guys. We do our best. And uh, stay tuned for new mod spotlights and installs. Ooh, coming. Yeah! We're going to start making them every Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Mod spotlights and installs of all kinds of mods. I am Diggy Man from the Venture Pros. And I'm Spiky. Shit. And we'll talk to you later. Bye.